Pokemon balls. So this is me from the future. Uh, this clip was is being filmed a week after the majority of this video you're going to see. Um, uh, lots of things have changed since then. I have finished uni. My tattoo is well on its way of healing. I got a new phone. So hopefully my future vlogs are going to be slightly nicer quality. Um, Mike got a new car. Loads of stuff has happened. This vlog is a bit of a mix matchy thing. Um, I was just planning to vlog my tattoo but then I don't really get much footage so I kind of took you shopping with me. Kind of explained some exciting news in my life. Kind of just blabbered about pets. Psh, fed all my pets. It's a bit of a roller coaster, so I'm sorry it's a long one. Um, but go grab a cup of tea and enjoy. So I actually wasn't gonna vlog today, but turns out I woke up an hour early. <laughs> so I'm gonna vlog today. Um, today I'm getting a new tattoo, probably on my leg, I think. Um, I've had this one planned since my, like I literally booked it the day I got my Tiddles one. Um, so today I'm getting my bearded dragon tripod. Um, I'm gonna get his face and then underneath it's gonna say grow a beard, basically. Um, no real deep reason towards that, just just beards, basically. Um, so this morning what I've done is I've basically just had a shower, cleaned my leg, I think. I did a poll on Facebook to see like where I should put it um, and I think I'm gonna put it like in this area here I was maybe considering putting it like above my tiddles one um but yeah I think I'm gonna put it like there and then I can like work up that's the plan anyway today I'm wearing um a Killstar dress it is the like corset one and this cardigan it's so nice I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to show you the back of it um, but it is so cute. I still need to brush my hair. Not gonna bother with my makeup today. Um, but yeah, we need to leave soon. Jeff's just having a little time out of his house. He's loving his new setup still. Um, but yeah, he's just enjoying the sun rays. So last time I did actually, um, watch YouTube while I was getting it, my tiddles one done and it made the whole thing a lot easier and quicker um, so I've packed my earphones again today um, as usual I need to get money out on the way I need to get some breakfast on the way I need to have a drink on the way um, but it is currently 9.44 um, and my appointment's at 11 so it takes about half an hour to get there but probably leave about 45 minutes so we can get breakfast and money and stuff so still got like half an hour um, but yeah thought I'd bring you along since I didn't think I was going to wake up in time to film this intro but I did with additional time I'm not exaggerating here but I re-dyed my hair with henna and I like don't like I am blown away so the first time I done it with henna it felt nice and it felt soft but to be honest it like after a while other than being like noticeably thicker it just kind of felt normal and my roots stayed like a nice orange pumpkin color I done them again with henna like a week or so ago which I'll explain again in a minute, like, I'll come back to in a minute. But I'd done it about a week ago, and I literally cannot believe how, like, soft and shiny it is. Like, this is, like, three days after I washed it last, and it's still, like, insane. I'm just, I'm pretty sure with every time I, like, henna my hair, I'm gonna love it even more. But the reason I hennaed my hair is because I got a... I don't know if you remember the first time I hennaed my hair, I'd done it because I had a job um I was gonna like go look around a school before I applied for it and then I got a job interview which is why I was like a little bit dead on social media for a while um which is why I done my roots again so that was about a week or so ago and I got the job which I am so excited about it's literally the best thing ever so now I am like set for September I don't need to like keep worrying and looking around schools and they're happy with my this coloured hair so like, literally win-win. 
<clears throat> so Mike is just in the shower now, so I'm gonna go brush my hair and make it look a bit nicer because at the moment it looks like I've just woken up, which kind of have. Um, and then, oh, Jeff's on the move. I need to make sure Jeff is back in his house. What are you up to down there, Jeff? It's like not much, just looking outside. Um, yeah, I put Jeff back got my stuff together and then I will be heading to get my dragon tattoo. What are you doing, Jeff? Should we get you back in your house? Hmm? No, no. Come on. Oh, good boy. There he is, looking gorgeous. Just wants to go back out. Oh, Jeff. Why is so awkward? Let's put you back in your house. Look at his pretty colours. And his scab's getting a lot better too. Such a pretty boy. Oh my goodness. He's so gorgeous. Okay. I'm just going to put you on the table while I open this. Okie dokie. Off you go. What time is it? Oh, he's got 10 minutes before his sprayer starts spraying him, so probably a good thing I put him back in there. Oh, I put him on rather an annoying log. Where are you going, Jeff? Yeah, it did take me a while to work out, like, where to put it as well, because, like, my legs are starting to look really weird, where they've got, like, loads around my ankles um, and obviously like my foot as well but you can't see my foot like around my trev and like one's there but like the mo like middle section is so empty so it's gonna put like my one there but then it would look too like do you know what I mean like symmetrical so I was thinking like on this side but then like I've got this cart on my leg so that's a bit annoying or potentially like here um but I am really leaning towards like compacting it here because if the writing is underneath then it will keep it like for example I don't want to put it like next to this writing in case anyone thinks like it follows on like if you like <laughs> grow a beard <laughs> or something so like at least if it's down there it'll be like contained some guy is blowing the leaves very noisily um just got our money out, my money out. Hi guys, welcome to my leaf blower vlog. <laughs> Just got my money out, I had some food. Well, I had some chocolate fingers from the garage and got a drink. So we're just walking there now in the sun. The obligatory clip of me walking to the uh, tattoo place. So we're just on our way home slash to get rubbish at vlogging today um currently in the garden center trying to get out because it is absolute bedlam since it's sunny so everyone's like oh i'm gonna do my garden today oh god there's a car right behind me um off you go 
so update it's still the same day i am boiling um basically we came out of the tattoo place and it was like torrential rain at typical england so um on the way home we went to mcdonald's to get um some food for mike because he hadn't eaten yet um i don't know if you saw the vlog from my tiddles my tiddles tattoo but basically um <laughs> in the shell garages we used to go get our, our like breakfast from there but since then jamie oliver like in the last like couple of months jamie oliver has like redone all the um all the breakfasts and made them like uber healthy so they no longer just have like normal baked beans they're like broad bean baked beans there's just he's over fancified it um and i don't mind like seasonings and stuff um but mike's not too keen on them so um mike didn't get breakfast this morning uh, so we went to mcdonald's afterwards so he could get his food um and i got like a snack just to kind of get me through until like this evening um but we got home and uh we literally just like ate our food basically um they had because we drove home from mcdonald's um where we live in the countryside like our nearest mcdonald's is like 20 25 minutes away we usually eat there um but we decided to drive home and when we got home we realized they'd given us the wrong food um so mike like, wasn't too excited about that because obviously he's like starving hungry um and they've given him given him the wrong thing to eat um so luckily there was like chicken nuggets in there which is fine but you know when you're looking forward to something and you've ordered something you kind of expect to get it don't you um so mike's decided to stay at home now um i took out jeff for a wonder and then jeff fell on the floor and it was this big like traumatic ordeal ordeal because mike was downstairs and i was like with my gammy leg trying to get jeff it was just like oh my god um so basically there's loads of stuff just gone wrong today food went wrong and then also we ordered jeff his food a lot for last monday um because we ordered him silkworms and they're really expensive and quite hard to get hold of in the, like in england and we were waiting obviously monday was bank holiday so we thought oh they get here tuesday tuesday wednesday thursday hadn't heard like hadn't seen them so friday we contacted them um and they were like oh sorry your box was damaged and got sent back to us so we're gonna send it on the weekend so it's meant to be coming today but there's it, like no show um we were out this morning so like perhaps they came this morning but they didn't leave like a note or anything saying like we tried you but you weren't in so that's fantastic because jeff literally has no food so that is why i just been to the garden center because they do sell um locust there jeff isn't like the biggest fan of locust but it will have to do um and now i'm on my way home to see my dragon and my cat and trev because they also need feeding so i have just got back in got my amazing slippers here which are generally genuinely the most comfortable slippers ever um kitten is here having some milk so i'm gonna go feed my dragon here's the man of the moment hello dragon you okay see if we can wake up trev dragon has got such a feast he just ate like three in one go so he is probably very hungry apparently hmm yum 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 right Trevor <gasps> hey Trevi oh it's a bit dark I need to fill up Trevor's water. Hey Trevor Bear. Hey baby. How are you? I got you some presents. I did. I got him. Some rodent sticks. A fruity stick. And. Some carrots. So Trev the Destroyer 
um, destroyed this. It used to be, um, it used to have sweet corn on it. I may take the plastic off and then put it back in there just for him to chew on. Um, so I've put in two new ones of those, obviously some clean water and some chocolate in there, some treats. And then I'm going to give him this one today because he will eat this so quickly that there's no point putting them both in because he'll just devour those. I'm going to get him some tubes in a second as well. Um, but I think he, I think I saw him sneak some, some treat down there. Okay, dragon. I'm going to go for a sunbathe, huh? Go on then. This is like favourite rock. Mike bought him that rock and I was like, he's not going to want that rock. He won't care about it and he just like loves it. Um... Trevor's being a bit camera shy, but he's got food in there now, drink, and he's changed his sand, um, but he has got some toys as well, so he should be set for a couple of days now. Oh, he's exploring. It's like, oh, what's this doing down here? Maybe he's just hungry. <gasps> wow. Look at these new things I got you. Hmm? Look at these new things I got you. Do you like it? Yum. Treats, huh? Treats. So lucky. Yeah, you. You're so lucky. Good boy. Dragon is like had something to eat now he's gonna have a bit of a sunbathe are you a good boy are you or are you grumpy both i literally just turned all the lights off and then i noticed that he's already on it with that carrot that will be gone in like a matter of like five minutes luckily i've got that one for tomorrow i was just about to go and then i remembered i had to print out this um calendar thing um, so basically it's just a regular calendar, so if we find, where are we now, May, June, definitely not June, July, so this is May, um, so today is the 11th, so you don't need to give him anything today, and then tomorrow you see like it'll tell you what to give him, and then Monday nothing, and so like you can just follow it really simply and just take it off, and I guess like if he doesn't have this you just kind of move it along um but yeah i'm gonna print that off now obviously i don't need all the pages so i need page page is it just page five onwards yeah so i need page five to how many pages are there all to there i mean i'm so dumb of course there's 12. <laughs> but uh, put it in color because they're all colour coded so that will be nice and uh, print right so once that's printed I can head off to Mike's and feed Jeff but he doesn't need to have any supplements today so that's handy although he didn't eat yesterday and yesterday he was meant to have that one so maybe maybe we'll give him that um, but yeah it's just prints out on a a4 nice and simple but yeah that's really handy i definitely suggest if you do have a chameleon to join this um page i think it's one of the main pages for um like having chameleons but it's really handy like just now i just couldn't work out if i need to give him the juvenile calendar or the adult calendar um i literally just typed in adult um into the group thing and it came up with someone who was asking like my exact question because jeff's about um 11 months now so uh it's very like quick to see what you need to do uh, Someone liked me. <laughs> Love that. <sighs> Good morning. <laughs> it is the next day. Um, I don't actually fully remember where I ended up filming to last night. Um, but uh, I came back. I watched Captain America. <laughs> then we went to Sainsbury's to get dinner. And... What was that sound? 
ghost. Um, he went to Sainsbury's to get dinner and then I just kind of like hang around really and didn't really film anything because nothing happened. Um, I did wash it off but by the time I went to go wash it off it was midnight and my phone died and yeah just not great on my behalf. I'm very sorry about that but I'm here this morning and my leg is looking so gonky. <laughs> Um, last night when I took the cling film off, there really wasn't much gunk in there. Like, I cleaned it off just with water and not much came off. So I was like, oh, obviously this one isn't, isn't bleeding too much. Well, not bleeding, but secreting too much. But you can see this one is, uh, definitely a lot more, a lot more seepage during the night. I did have trousers on during the night but it got really hot, so maybe that's why there's more seepage. I don't know, um, but I'm just waiting to use the bathroom. Um, as I said, I don't have much Sanoderm. When we went to Sainsbury's, I did see if I could find like an alternative to Sanoderm, <laughs> but like nothing. They'd have like blister plasters, and I was like, definitely not. So yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get this Sanoderm on. If not, I'm just gonna have to go for cling film. Um, today we're going to Mike's work. I'm going to go to TK Maxx. You know, it is, I'm ready. I'm ready for Halloween. So who knows? I'm going to go there. I've heard that there was like a pumpkin spice drink or something there. So who actually knows? I'm going to go have a look. See if there's anything for my classroom as well, which will be exciting. Um, I'm actually just so excited for September. Um, so I'll probably bring you along with that. So this morning it will just be me cleaning my leg, seeing if we can get Sanoderm on. Um, and then I may bring you to TK Maxx if I find anything cool. And then after that, I'll just be either editing a video or doing my uni work. I kind of know I should be doing my uni work, but I kind of want to edit a video. I've got one more assignment due in next Thursday. Well, like four days time that I haven't started. So I know I should be doing that, but then part of me just wants to edit YouTube videos, which is great. Um, but after next Friday, because we've got one more like um, lecture, I'm free. Well, until June, <laughs> and then June I go into work. Um, but for the end of May at least I'm free and I'm really excited to just focus on my YouTube videos and making videos. Um, and yeah, I've just got lots of exciting things planned. Uh, yes, day before yesterday I came home and a package had come from Wish because I'm hoping to do like a compar like a comparison video between... I see lots of people posting like, oh... You could buy Killstar on Wish or AliExpress for much cheaper and it's the same thing. Um, and I was really confused if it was the same thing, but after this order I can I can confirm they are not <laughs> the same thing. Um, but yeah, I thought that may be a fun video comparing the the cheaper the cheaper options if that makes sense with um, the legitimate designs. Um, so yeah, that's exciting. Anyway, I'm gonna go now and hopefully the shower will be free soon because I want to take this cling film off. So um, I've just come down to the bathroom. This is how it is looking. So I'm just gonna wash it off in the shower now. Just with water, no like creams or anything. Um, and then let it air dry before putting on the sanitizer. So here it looks, now that it is clean, it's super hard to show you where it's on the back. Um, but yeah, I'm super pleased with that. Obviously my, my calf's a bit swollen, but it doesn't actually hurt too bad compared to like other pieces I've had. So out of my Sanoderm, I have this piece, which is like the biggest piece, and then Two tiny pieces. So I'm thinking, hopefully, 
this may just about cover it but I'm gonna have to ask Mike to help me because I literally cannot see what I'm doing so Mike's just put this sound jam on for me luckily <laughs> luckily it fit on there exactly right um so yeah just need to watch that bottom bit to make sure it doesn't ride up or anything but hopefully we're set to go for four or five days now Okay, so I'm just at Mike's work now. I've just had some food. I'm so full. I'm wearing my, one of my new Killstar dresses. I absolutely love this dress. I will be making a video about it soon. But, um, yep, yeah, I'm just gonna get myself together and head on over to TK Maxx. Update on the leg, it hurts <laughs> when I touch it. Like if I'm sat in the car and my leg is like up against the back of a chair, I'm like, ow. But actually like day to day moving around, like standing up like I am now, it's literally absolutely fine. Um, so I'd say like, although it was quite painful to get, um, the after pain isn't as bad as say when I got my ankle done. It's so sunny yet so cold today. Please be prepared to push your trolley off the walkway. juice I am just like a sucker for juice and I've just been meaning to get some more I also got these notebooks which are kind of fancy it was like eight pounds but there are two of them in there um and I really liked the style of them it has this little bit for you to like write your name on the front so I've got um I've got a diary although I'll be changing my diary over soon this is like my current diary that I use um, I glued in this uh, little ribbon that I got from package from October 31st and um, yeah this is my current diary uh, I kind of mainly bought it because there's like a little lizard there I got this from a company called Papier online and I just really liked the style it's like a really weird style but I really like it um, and for some reason there's like a range in Sainsbury's that really reminded me of it so like I know they don't look exactly the same but they're the same like size exactly um, and I just thought they were like somewhat similar what with all the animals. They did have some really like nice planners in there. The reason why I just said like I'll be moving over soon is um, come September I have a teacher planner um, so it's done with the academic year so from September to September so I've got a teacher's planner on the way so this one will just do me until September basically. I also got some dreamies for my kitten and some small rock bones for tiddly poo um, and that's literally all I bought. I didn't end up getting anything from TK Maxx which is 
literally typical because I went there to go look at the stationery and see if there's any Halloween stuff and ended up just buying stationery from Sainsbury's um, but it was all a bit too like flowery in there whereas I kind of like this sort of bug thing that's going on so I'm gonna open this up now have a look at it I think I'm gonna um, I'm, I'm so torn I kind of want to do some shopping online kind of need to do my uni work so I may open this up have a look at this do a bit of uni work and then treat myself to some shopping once I have done some of my actual work. Hi guys and ghouls, so it's actually me from the future and I mean the very very future. Um, I am editing this today on the 28th of May so this is a whole week on from the clip that you just saw. Um, basically everything just went insane. Uh, I can't fully remember what happened <laughs> last Sunday afternoon but I'm pretty sure we had like a relatively early night just because Mike was working and doing like overtime the next day. Um, so I think it was relatively uneventful, however Monday morning was was eventful. Um, I woke up and my Sanoderm had rolled off the top. Earlier in the video I was like oh as long as it doesn't roll off the top and uh, yeah it rolled off the top. Um, I got a little pimple on my tattoo which really annoyed me. I'm not sure if that's where it had rolled off. I then had to pull my Sanoderm off which was painful to say the least. <sighs> so I had to wear cling film on my leg from basically Monday to Wednesday which was not fun. I forgot how much I hated wearing cling film rather than Sanoderm and I have to say I know that it's different for everyone but for me personally my leg has been so like literally like, four times more itchy than it ever has been before when I've just had Sanoderm on like it's insane the difference in healing um, but it's pretty much gone through that now it's now just in the dry crusty stage so it is gross um, but I've just been like moisturizing it like a couple of times a day but it's pretty much settled now the itches fingers crossed are starting to go um, so yeah I'm sorry this vlog was so weird I or, as I said at the beginning I didn't even know I was gonna be vlogging anything to do with my tattoo then it ended up just being such a chatty vlog about like pets and my new job and everything so I think I'm gonna title this chatty vlog about pets and tattoos and my job and my life update etc you're welcome um but yeah uh it's a week on so i've done my assignment i passed that assignment so that's good friday i finished off university said goodbye for the last time i never have to drive to Borkner regis again i am so happy with my life um today we went and picked up mike's new car uh, going into school on Tuesday to help set up for my job in job in June so yeah everything's a bit crazy everything is exciting I have some really exciting videos on the way I have Killstar I have Spooky Box on Monday I have um, a All Hallows Eve box to open like a new subscription service to open with you I have some Wish vs Killstar some Ali Aliexpress vs Killstar I just have Killstar hauls I have so much I am so excited and I cannot wait for the next two weeks so I'm really sorry this is a really long video I'm sorry it's all over the place but I hope you enjoyed it thank you very much for watching if you do have any questions or comments please leave them down below if it's sunny where you are I hope you enjoy in the shade and I will see you next time bye